Captain Forest here, and in today's video I'm going to be going over both these combatants to see who would win, more often not in a crossverse situation, Hal Jordan from DC Comics versus Hyperion from Marvel Comics. Now if you guys are new to my channel please leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for the content. Also shoutouts to HQ Squad, shoutouts to the Crusaders of course, massive shoutouts to the team, they help me in my videos and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and go over some of Hal Jordan's feats and abilities that he's demonstrated over the years and then after that I'm going to go ahead and move on to Hyperion. So Hal Jordan had some pretty cool feats of his own. He's able to box up Superman with his constructs. On two occasions, Hal Jordan fights Parallax, Amped, Sinestro and does well. In their second encounter, Sinestro was amped by Parallax and the Fear Engine. Hal Jordan can contend with Laughleys, who was stated to be as a big of a threat as Parallax. Another impressive feat for Hal was when he was able to harm Corona, who was amped by the emotional spectrum and was specifically controlling Ion, who is the concept of will power and contained him inside the central power battery and Oli started losing when his ring's power was being depleted. But regardless, Hal survived a blast from Corona, which is very impressive. There are more impressive feats for Hal Jordan, but I think I've covered enough. Now, being the bearer of the Green Lantern Ring, this allows Hal Jordan to create constructs and use them for offensive, defensive, or for practical reasons. The user can use their imagination and ideas to conjure up different types of constructs. In Hal's case, he can create fighter jets to ram into his opponents. He can create giant hand constructs, large weapons. He can shoot concussive energy from his ring or create giant area of effects. He can replicate things such as a nuclear bomb, kryptonite, and he can also create shields and barriers. The ring also has some hacks too, such as transmutation and ice manipulation. There are a lot more hacks that Hal Jordan has up his sleeve, but I'll only mention the practical ones near the end. Okay, so that's going to round up Hal Jordan. I'm going to go ahead and talk about Hyperion and see what he brings to battle. The super being that would become known as Hyperion came to Earth as a baby, sent as the only survivor of the race of Eternals from a dying world. A human named Father raised him under the name of Marcus Milton, teaching him the morals of society. As an adult, he became the superhero known as Hyperion and protected the world along with a team of superhumans known as the Squadron Supreme. One day, his universe and another started colliding while he was trying to prevent the destruction of his reality. He was left in a void, his destroyed universe once occupied. As the only survivor floating in nothingness, the group of scientists known as AIM from another universe managed to pull him in to their reality. He spent most of his time in captivity until he was freed by the Avengers who offered him a place in their ranks and after working with the Avengers, he would go on to form the Squadron Supreme. Alright, let's move on to Hyperion's impressive feats. So Hyperion survived the destruction of two entire universes. One day, his universe and another started colliding. While he was trying to prevent the destruction of his reality, he was left in the void his destroyed universe once occupied, floating in nothingness. Hyperion was able to physically go at it with Hulk, and in fact, take victory by causing Hulk to revert back to Banner after punching him really hard. Some more impressive feats for Hyperion was when he fought Namor and decapitated him with his heat vision. Another time was when he fought against Juggernaut and was able to physically hurt him and even carve off his helmet. Hyperion was also able to stalemate Moonstone in a beam struggle. This is impressive because Moonstone, back in the day, could toss up with Captain Marvel. Hyperion has also ripped the High Evolutionary's arm off and they proceeded to go at it with each other. Now let's go ahead and move on to Hyperion's abilities and other miscellaneous stuff. Hyperion has enhanced senses, he can hear the crack of skin cells from his students, hear someone drooling, dust mites running around their eyebrows and hear screams from 18 miles away. Fine tuned hearing he really does have. He can sense and detect life and see objects from far distances. Hyperion doesn't require the need to breathe and Hyperion has his signature atomic heat vision which he can use to vaporize his opponents 
down to the atomic to subatomic levels. His heat vision gets amped by the sun during the day as he was able to carve off Juggernaut's helmet with his heat vision. Hyperion's heat vision is also radioactive too. Hyperion has also shown to use dirty tactics in combat and lastly, Hyperion has type 3 mortality. He can heal his eyes and brain from worms that were consuming them. Okay, so that's going to round up both these combatants. I'm going to go ahead and give my overall thoughts on who I think wins more, more often than not in a cross-first situation. Now, when it comes down to AP and speed, uh, I do favor the stats more so to Hal Jordan. He scales higher into the tier of High Altiversal Plus and Boundless. He would easily have the AP ranges. His feats are just a lot more concrete and solid and far more impressive than Hyperion's, unfortunately, so I do give AP to Hal Jordan. Now in terms of speed, I do give the speed edge to Hal Jordan, he has blatant irrelevant speed feats and more layers into the tier, Hyperion easily has immeasurable speed, potentially uh, irrelevant speed, you could argue it, but I don't think there'd be enough layers for him in those tiers to compete with Hal Jordan, so stats overall, I have to give it to Hal Jordan. Now, Hal Jordan does have some win cons, now in character, he uses his constructs, he likes to use... Um, a lot of constructs in combat, especially using energy blasts from his from his ring, his willpower, and other assets. Now, of course, Hyperion also has wing cons. He has his super strength, his atomic heat vision, and ice breath. Basically, how Jordan's fighting the Superman essentially. Now, the heat vision could be a problem. You know, subatomic destruction could be an issue. However, how Jordan is no stranger to taking subatomic attacks. He's taken heat vision before. In fact, his constructs have resistance to subatomic uh, destruction. He's, he's demonstrated with his construct to shield from Superman's heat vision and the construct was not vaporized. The construct was able to take the subatomic heat vision just fine. So I don't think the heat vision is gonna be an issue. I think the constructs and the, the shields that Hal Jordan can create would definitely be enough to protect him I think he'd be able to block a lot of Hyperion strikes and then he'd just fly in now once he gets into Hyperion's uh, vicinity he's just gonna start boxing him up he's gonna start hitting him with constructs he's gonna create sword constructs you know create like flighter jets he's just gonna bombard Hyperion and incapacitate him and take him out or potentially just straight up kill him but more often than not, I do have to give victory to Hal Jordan. He has ways to counter a lot of Hyperion stuff. Ice Breath isn't going to really do anything. He has the offensive and defensive flexibility in combat, uh, Hal Jordan does. So he'd be able to switch between offense and defense. If he needs to put up a barrier, he can put up a construct, block all the offense, just get in. You know, get since he has the speed edge, he'd potentially just blitz. Just one shot, honestly. Now... The other things that I've mentioned before, I know how Jordan does have some other hacks too, however he doesn't use them in character, he, he typically likes to use a lot of his offensive uh, attacks and his constructs, but even if he was to argue like okay cool you know, you know what if he was to go off like out of character, you know hacks then yeah, transmutation, he'd just turn Hyperion into a bird or a seagull or something and he'd just win regardless honestly. But Overall, I have to give victory to Hal Jordan, but thank you guys for watching. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section, but yes, it's been real. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.